Hello y'all, welcome back. Welcome to, well not welcome back. Well, welcome back to Joanne's Kitchen. How's everybody doing today? It is 11.46 p.m. I'm trying to get these oxtail seasons before I get into bed. So, to my new subscribers, thank you so much for choosing to subscribe to my channel. And welcome to Joanne's YouTube family. So pleased to have you. And to those of you that's watching this channel for the first time, you know what to do, right? But here's your personal information. Go ahead and take the time and um, subscribe. Be sure to tap that notification bell. So every time I upload a video, you want to be notified. So I have some oxtails what I'm having here in my sink. And they done been clean. And I have patted them dry. Now I'm just getting ready to season them. And let them soak in the seasonings. So they can be ready to hit the stove first thing tomorrow morning. Okay. So, I'll show you guys the ingredients after a while. This is um, what I'm adding in. This right here is, if you guys can see that. This is what I'm using for my oxtails. This part of the seasoning, okay? So, I'm just going to rake this. Season this all over the oxtails. Alright. Next I'll be going in with some um, onion powder and garlic powder. So this is my garlic powder. My onion powder, as much as you like. And next, I'll be using a little paprika. Mm, gotta wash that spot. That's on again. Oh well. Accent salt. Accent milk salt makes everything taste better. Okay. So I'm just gonna mix these together with my hand. Okay, I bought two packs of oxtails. These packs right here that's not highly much, don't look like that much meat on them. It's some meat on them, but more bone. See all that bone right up in there? And this bone. These packs right here was like $37. And you see this? You see the difference? You see how big that is? And you see that, that meat on there? $45. I kid you not. I'm so, it's so freaking high so they don't make no darn sense. And they used to be so cheap. So cheap. Okay. So I'm gonna put these in a pot and I'm bring you guys over this way. And this is some more seasonings I have over here. I'll tell you everything I have over here where I get my pot out. I have some whole garlic cloves. I have about 10 fresh whole garlic cloves. I have three fresh um, garlic cloves already chopped up right here. I have peppers, red, yellow, and green. I have two whole tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, diced up. I have some white, a white sweet onion that I have diced up and a red onion that I have diced up. Over here, I have um, four scallions or four green onions and over here I have um a bunch of thyme okay and we're gonna add some more seasoning to that
We're gonna get this oxtails good and flavorful. Yes. I gotta wash my hands again. Wash my hands all over again. Okay, so here I have the pot right here, and I'm gonna do this, you guys. I gotta get some tomato paste out. I forgot to take my, my tomato paste out. tomato sauce okay yes y'all gonna know that I do these quite different this is gonna have so much flavor these lemon top is gonna be good I tell y'all that and I'm gonna add my lima beans to them Okay, so you guys can see over here in this part, right? So I'm adding a can of tomato sauce. My peppers. Okay. More peppers, onions, red onions, my garlic cloves, just throw them in there. Green onions. And I use the white part of the green onions as well. Okay, last but not least, we have our tomatoes. Two fresh tomatoes. Okay, I'm getting ready to add in some tomato paste. And I'm just, I'm not even mess, mess, um, measuring it, y'all. I'm just squirting some in, okay? Alright. We're going to add in our Worcestershire sauce. Y'all see how I'm doing this? I'm just, I'm adding some, almost a, half of the bottle. Okay, your favorite hot sauce. Okay. 
It's not going to be hot. Okay. You see that? I'm adding this in. And then we're going to put some water in it to make sure get it all out. Oh, I should have used the beef bro, but it's okay. Okay. And just, well, the, I just missed and put water in it, but it don't make no difference. So whether you fill it back up with the water or the beef broth and shake it and pour the empty continents into your pot there. Okay. Then we have, last but not least, we have our paprika. Okay. I'm going in with my beef broth. Beef broth, free stock, whatever you want to use. The whole thing. Now we're not trying to get it full to the rim. What we're trying to do is make sure that we have enough stock in here to cover your oxtails, okay? This, you want them covered. Now we're going to stir this up. Put it in the refrigerator. And it's best, it comes out best if you let this sit overnight. Instead of letting it sit four hours or two hours before cooking it. Overnight works best. Because those flavors had a chance to marinate. And honey, let me tell you. Have some good, um, some good oxtails. Ain't gonna go wrong with this dish. Uh, um, Scotch bonnet pepper. I'm not gonna use that. Even though we don't need a, you know, if you do use it, just set it on top. Make sure that when you start cooking with it, it don't burst. It don't pop open. So I'll leave that way it's set. This tastes good without the scotch bonnet. I don't need all that. I got enough flavor in this pot going on. And I'm telling you these ain't tell it's gonna have you licking your finger. So I think we got enough water. And then you want to come back. If you do you when you soak your um oxtails overnight like this marinate them you want to come back and you want to um at least you want to get up like four day in the morning you know and stir you know what i'm saying if you don't do it but one time and then go back to sleep so i get up again four day in the morning and i give it a good stir And I'll go back and lay down. Okay. Now we got one more thing that we got to add in here. It's our fresh garlic cloves. I'm going to add those bad boys in. I'll give this a little whisk. Okay, you guys, that's it. I'm going to put a lid over this, put it in the refrigerator, and I will see you guys back tomorrow morning to show you what we're going to do to this oxtail stew. See you later. Okay, good morning, good morning. <clears throat> good morning, everyone, and welcome to Joanne's Kitchen. How's everybody doing this morning? Well, I hope all is well. As far as me and my family, we're doing good. Um, to my new subscribers, thank you so much for choosing to subscribe to my channel and welcome to join us YouTube family I'm so glad to have you and to those of you that's watching the channel for the first time You know what to do, right? Go ahead. Excuse me. Go ahead and take the time and um, subscribe and be sure 
<laughs> excuse me y'all and be sure to um tap that notification bell so every time i upload a video you want to be notified so um today we're gonna finish up our oxtail dinner okay and i'm doing stew oxtails with lima beans i'm trying to decide do i want some um potato salad or not and uh, some rice and cornbread and that's gonna be it okay so um and i'm gonna show y'all the recipe of the red velvet cake um we're gonna do that okay because when I was supposed to make it, I didn't. Something came up, like I had said. Something came up, so I didn't make it. But this cake, it was in t initially for Valentine's Day. But you can have this cake any time of the day, any time of the year. It don't have to be Valentine's Day. And I'm going to show you guys how to make that cake later on today. I'm going to come back with a video and show you guys that. So right now, um, the oxtails was, um, they, they, I seasoned them last night, Saturday night. And we're going to get ready and put these oxtails in the oven. So let's get to it, okay? Because it's already late and I don't want to be too late cooking dinner. So this is the oxtails that we had. And last night, I forgot to put the time in. That right there. So um, when I was cleaning up the kitchen, I said, oh, I didn't put the time in. So there's the time, okay? So now what we're going to do. is I'm going to take some cornstarch because we're going to have this in gravy. I'm going to take some cornstarch. Doesn't matter what kind you use. Excuse me. I just got three of y'all tonight. Belching. I got to go take me some um Tom's. Okay, so I'm going to take one heaping teaspoon of cornstarch and I'm going to put it in here. I'm taking another one. So it's two heaping teaspoons of cornstarch that we're going to use. And if it needs thickening, I started I, um, thickening it up, okay? And I'm going to add some bee stock to this. And you want to stir it until it dissolves. You don't want to feel no kind of cornstarch down to the bottom of the cup. Oh. Okay. No kind of cornstarch to the bottom of the cup. So next, we're going to take... Let me move this out of my way. I'm going to take this pot right here and just pour it into my um, pan here. Okay, let me take everything out like this. That might not work. I started to boil these on the stove, but then I was like, I'll go ahead and put them in the oven.
Okay. And then all your veggies <coughs> that you add in, you just want the whole pot going right back in here, okay? I'm still taking oxtails out. Okay. Now, this is the gravy. Cornstarch and um, beef broth. So we're just going to pour it on here just like this. I'm not going to cover this up, okay? See, there's none. You gotta make sure that it's dissolved, okay? And if it don't all get thickened, you'll go back in with you some more cornstarch and your beef broth or beef stock or whatever, or water or whatever, and thicken it back up. To your likeness, and we're gonna let this um, time cook right in there and then um, I'm going to take it out. Trust me, those oxtails are going to get done in the oven, okay? So, I'm going to put these in a 350 degree oven and I'm going to let these oxtails cook for about two to three hours. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna be checking on them in between for their tenderness and their doneness. And if they, the way that I want them, they done and they tender. We're gonna be adding the the um the lima beans to them. And I'm gonna be using. I'm not cooking dry lima beans today. That was a whole lot of cooking. So to save me some time, I'm gonna be using the seasoned butter beans, Marguerite seasoned butter beans, Margaret Holmes. I'm gonna be using these. So I have like about six. To eight cans maybe ten cans I think I'm just gonna pour them in here so and mix them together okay so um I see you guys back in a couple of hours 350 degree oven for two and a half hours see you guys mm -hmm. Alright y'all, let me get y'all closer and let me get a little bit closer. So this is what the oxtails are looking like and y'all they are done. Okay, they tender. I done skimmed some of the fat off of the grit off of the oxtails and we just got gravy. Now I'm going to get ready and add the beans to them and place them back in the oven. So, what time is it? It's going on 4 o'clock. They done been in here about 2, almost 3 hours. Okay, so this lima beans, y'all, I just took them and put them in a bowl. And I'm just going to place them all through here.
And these are Margaret Holmes seasoned lima beans that I'm using. Just a shortcut. Or you can make your own batch. I didn't need to add any more gravy because this is thick. Let's see how tender this is. It just come off the bone. See that? See the meat just tearing apart right there, just coming off the bone. So you don't have to worry about not being tender. It's going to be that. That's why I put a whole lot of Worcestershire sauce in here because Worcestershire sauce makes your meats tender. Okay, so we're going to put this back into the oven and it's going to cook for, I'm going to let this stay in there for about, hmm. 20, 25 minutes just so my beans can get you know a little acquainted with the oxtails so about 20 25 minutes and then I'm cutting the oven off and they're done and I'm just gonna let them sit after I cut the oven off all right so I'll be back to y'all shortly dinner is done you guys and I'm gonna about to fix my plate all right you got some rice Got some string beans, Cajun string beans with potatoes and sausage. Over here, I have my oxtails and beans. And gravy. I still the beans and gravy. Okay, I have my plate right here. And I have some chiffy cornbread that I made. And you guys like this recipe, you go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to Joy's Kitchen. Once again, I thank you all for watching.
Yeah. 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 Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Join us kitchen. Once again, I thank you all for watching. Until the next video, God bless. I will see you guys later. Try these recipes. Have a blessed day.